Egypt is in turmoil. And no matter how faint their voices might be, the Egyptian community in Namibia has decided to speak out. They say the reports that have been sent out by the international media are misleading. They say it is not a military coup that has transpired in their country. Rather, the military is simply doing what the people want. Showing solidarity, the small group of Egyptians gathered at their embassy in Vinduk to peacefully demonstrate. The former president, Mohamed Morsi, was ousted by the army on the 3rd of July in a move that the Egyptian ambassador to Namibia fully supports. This group says Morsi was given his chance to better the lives of ordinary Egyptians, but he failed to deliver. The ambassador claims media houses such as Al Jazeera and CNN are in cahoots with Morsi supporters to sow division. They are uh, employing such reputed uh, agencies like the CNN or Al Jazeera or some reputed publications to give to give a wrong impression about what's going on even in the last 26th of July demonstrations last Friday I mean believe it or not some of this media they took the uh, photos of the supporters of the uh, new democratic regime in Egypt and they titled them as supporters of former President Morsi so this is absolute bad intention and actually I mean at that time the army was clever enough to call all the representatives of the international media to go on army helicopters in the air and photograph everything to know what's going on by themselves for themselves because the truth is there the truth is clear and the bias is also very clear Mossi is in detention and elections are expected to take place in approximately nine months the army sided with the people for their own sake and for their own protection. So nobody can blame a national army for fulfilling its national duty. And uh, I think that uh, the uh, developments are proving that. And also we have a roadmap in place by the interim president who happens to be the head of our Supreme Constitutional Court. When conflict breaks out at this magnitude, some usually turn to international bodies such as the UN or countries like America for intervention. But at today's gathering, this was said to be unnecessary because this is allegedly an internal affair that Egyptians must address amongst themselves. Kudachi Sweta Brandt reporting for the news on one.